Welcome to the dialogue where movies are more than just mindless entertainment. Today we're going to be reviewing 10 Cloverfield Lane. This movie takes place in kind of an apocalyptic setting where this woman has been taken by this man and is basically held in this underground doomsday bunker, like something you'd see on Doomsday Preppers, if you've ever watched that show. I've never seen that. It's a cultural phenomenon, you should watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about right now, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go along with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this guy's got this sweet shindig set up. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he's ready for anything. So this is what's happened. You probably have seen if you've seen a trailer. You kind of know that this is what the movie's about. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, boy, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, we talked about how this is this guy's the director who is Dan Trachtenberg. Trachtenberg. Right. Right. Um, this is his first full-length feature film, hmm. so I was curious to know how this is going to go down. And there's a lot of things, you know, like it being combined with Cloverfield, and we saw the original, and it's not like that, but it's tied to it. Right. Weird things going on. Anyways, just to comment on his direction, obviously he's, you know, inexperienced and young and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's a younger dude. I don't know how old he is, but I, he's uh, probably in his late 20s or, or 30s. Mm -hmm. um, but this guy... He did some things that were way beyond this, like, film for TV stuff. Oh, you yeah. You know, where we're just going to have two people talking and we're going to cut over the shoulder and just cut these different shots, you know, the standard stuff. Right. He did some great things where, look, oh, say, first five minutes of the film, there's no talking. There was talking in the theater, but pretty soon people <laughs> realize that they have to pay attention to what they're seeing because he's giving visual cues and oh, yeah. clues and telling a story with the footage that you're seeing on film. And that happens throughout the film. Like, mm -hmm. he waits to show you things and then shows you them at the appropriate time. So, very good there. Oh, yeah. Very good. And, the, like, the credit scene, I have to just say, like, the, with the main titles, I just loved how that was done. Uh, oh, I kind of geek out about that. Um, <laughs> another thing I love about this movie, the tension was, uh, like, full throttle throughout the entire thing. Yeah, pretty and much. And it was a really great uh, drama, really tense drama with three people, and John Goodman nails it out of the park. Oh. It's worth re-watching oh, just to watch yeah. his acting abilities, because that, oh my goodness. Um, yeah. And on top of all that, there is also a great theme about life and what it means to be living or what it means to be surviving. The thing is mm -hmm. that this theme is kind of just touched on, although it's definitely there, mm -hmm. it's not like a huge part of the film, so that could bring it down just a little bit as far as like being an epic film. Okay. But, my word man, Yeah. this was a great experience. This was an experience. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, in terms of like how I felt about the movie, so, my, my initial reaction to this was like, okay, I saw the first Cloverfield. Right. That was okay. I didn't really care for it that much. I kind of liked it. I didn't really care for it. But this movie, I didn't have like that high of an expectation for it, and then it took my expectation and just blew it out of the water. Like, this movie is so good, and the performances by the actors are amazing. All John Goodman, them. especially. Everything that he said, I was like hanging on his words and hanging on the dialogue that he was giving, and it was so good. Um, as soon as he enters into the first scene that he's in, you're like, I love this guy. But I also hate him. You know, he's, it's this love-hate thing. He's a force. He's, he's a, a force, force to be nature. reckoned with. <laughs> wow. uh, but yeah, I mean, like, the way that the movie is shot, the way that it's played out, it has you guessing the whole time. I didn't really know how it was going to end, because the first Cloverfield, Cloverfield movie ended a certain way. And I was like, maybe this is going to end similarly, maybe not. Mm -hmm. But it was just beautifully done. Mm -hmm. I love the way that this movie was told. And I also love the what you were talking about like yeah. with the themes. I actually like this movie, I think, more than you did. But I, like, I, <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. I love the movie. I love it more. I love it more. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, right. there wasn't a dull moment for me in this movie. I enjoyed the whole thing. Yeah. Oh man, there's a lot to talk about, and we're going to do that in our in-depth discussion, so yes. make sure you stay tuned. Before I give the rating, real quick, just a uh, content warning, this is PG-13, and it definitely deserves that based on the thematic material alone. If you want to know that stuff, go to a site where, you know, these things are kind of laid out there for you. That's right. For the rating, 
Uh, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this film a nine. Okay. Uh, and I'll just leave it at that. Like it's really good. I'm gonna leave you room if you want to to give it a higher rating, or you can, you know. I'm just gonna say that for me, this movie is going to be a ten. There, okay. there is some. I can totally see how somebody might not like the ending of the movie, mm -hmm. but I feel like the movie as a whole, because that's how I'm looking at the movie. That's how I'm digesting the movie. I love this movie. It's a movie that I'm going to buy and I'm going to treasure it and I'm going to love it. It's it's something that I really enjoyed. You talk like it's like a, it's, a it's pet a, or it's a plant a, that you're going to, I'm going to buy it, I'm going to treasure I'm gonna it, water it, I'm gonna, yeah. care for it, and feed it. But yeah, 10 out of 10. I love this movie. Alright, let us know what you guys think in the comment section. And like I said, stay tuned for our in-depth discussion. Yes. And as always, just join us again on the dialogue.